Welcome to the land of sushi, sakura, and some seriously unspoken rules. In Japan, breaking these silent codes can lead to more awkward moments than a sumo wrestler in a game of Twister. So grab your chopsticks and let's explore what makes our Japanese friends squirm. First up on our journey of discomfort, smell harassment. Picture this, you're sitting in a cozy Japanese restaurant about to dive into a delicious bowl of ramen when suddenly a cloud of overpowering perfume wafts over from the next table. It's like trying to enjoy a delicate tea ceremony with a foghorn blaring in your ear. No wonder the Japanese call it smell harassment. So, folks, remember, when in doubt, go easy on the eau de toilette. Now let's talk facial hair, so, or as the Japanese might say, face foliage. Back in the 1400s, having a beard was like having a VIP pass to the emperor's inner surls. But nowadays, it's more likely to raise eyebrows than raise your status. Imagine showing up to a job interview in Japan, sporting a beard that could rival Gandalf's. You might as well be auditioning for the role of scary stranger in a horror movie. So unless you're aiming for a part in a historical drama, keep that face fuzz in check. Next stop, communication confusion. Picture yourself lost in the labyrinth of Tokyo's subway system, desperately trying to ask for directions in your best broken Japanese. Suddenly you realize that the locals are giving you the same look you'd give a vending machine that's out of your favorite snack. Complete bewilderment. Yep, in Japan, talking to strangers is about as common as finding a unicorn at a sushi bar. But hey, at least you'll have some great stories to tell back home. Last but not least, the art of eye contact. Or as the Japanese might say, staring showdowns. In Japan, staring into someone's eyes for too long is like challenging them to a duel, except instead of swords, you're wielding awkwardness. It's like playing a game of chicken with your peepers, so if you find yourself in a business meeting in Japan, remember, a quick glance is polite, but a lingering gaze might just be considered a declaration of war. So there you have it, folks, a crash course in making our Japanese friends squirm. Remember, when in doubt, just bow politely and blame it on cultural differences. After all, laughter is the universal language and a well-timed joke can smooth over even the prickliest of situations. Until next time, sayonara and stay awkward. And remember, folks, whether you're in Tokyo or Timbuktu, a smile goes a long way. So keep those pearly whites shining and may your adventures be filled with laughter and lots of delicious sushi.